Um, you know, I studied the man as you would. Um, he's a very distinguishable man, and I just basically paid attention to who he is as a personality, first and foremost, who he was as a countryman. Uh, I paid attention to his idiosyncratic behavior, of course. Uh, I didn't want to do an impersonation. Justin and I are very, you know, we've seen a lot of comedians do Mandela, and I didn't want to be in that category. Um, I don't look like Mr. Mandela, so it's important that I capture this spirit the most, and that was the focus of my um, preparation. Patience is a word that I, uh, uh, I came across over and over again in my research on Madiba. Patience was something that he grasped very well, um, and, and it could also stand out of himself and look at a problem, or look at a set of problems aside from himself, uh, which made him very gracious also. So these are two things that I try my best to, to um, um, do now. I'm very grumpy and very ungracious <laughs> and very impatient. But, you know, I'd like very much to take those traits with me uh, into my, my life. You know, every role, like Tony said, there are no small roles. So in, in my, my method of sort of working is always to make sure I'm doing the best job I could possibly do. But when you are playing someone like Nelson Mandela, who um, is a world icon, um, you have to pay attention to the many different points of view that he, this film, this person will be seen. We wanted to make sure that we not only was honest about it and truthful, but also respectful. So we did have the responsibility of taking on board all these different opinions, all these different points of views, but then we courageously had to go away and make the film we wanted to make. It's a huge responsibility when Madiba chooses you to take on this big task. I was honored, you know, as I, as I mentioned before, I was writing to him while he was in prison to be able to tell the story. But, you know, a lot of hard work and introspection had gone into the process because the idea of his life, you could make a mini-series. We looked at that too. Would, would we be able to do justice to, move to, to his story in a motion picture? And, you know, as a result of that, we went to, through several writers, over 50 drafts of screenplays, and ultimately when we got to this, this story, the love story, that Justin and Bill Nicholson came together to, to get it. When we saw that script, we knew we had a, a real canvas to tell, tell his story and tell it uh, in, in a way that it takes from the eight-year-old child all the way to the president. Uh, just the wave of emotion that came from the men and women that were sat in that audience and the reaction that we got, the film was so warmly embraced. I hadn't quite expected that level of emotion to be in the room afterwards and incredible to be in the same room watching the film with with them, with the families, and uh, that was very moving. They felt we'd caught the spirit of, the, of, of their struggle. Obviously, we couldn't capture the whole thing. I mean, I think everybody realizes who were involved, you know, in the research that we can't tell the whole thing. This is a point of view, it's a cost to a man and, and the cost to his family. And uh, I, I'm just relieved that they believed that it was true and that we caught the spirit of it. And, uh, and they embraced the film and felt it was truthful. I, I came with a lot of trepidation about being accepted, uh, not only by South Africans, but by the crew, by the cast. Um, but I was, all that trepidation was put aside because you know the cast were very, very uh, embracing, very gracious, uh, helped me with everything from my accent to just things I didn't know about South African culture, which it, general knowledge. Um, so I was really impressed by the actors and the talent, especially the crew. Uh, you can tell by the film's depth and its detail how much detail was put into that. And that was an entirely uh, a South African crew and art department and so on. So, um, you know, I would love to come back and make films here. I've made films all over the world. I've really enjoyed my, my time here as well.